Oh my god. Showing up. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Home and Away. You know the drill, we are here for European football once again. You may notice a little change in scenery today. That's because I'm in Belfast. Yep, I've travelled over, unfortunately for a family person. But I'm here, I'm going to work hard and I'm going to do our proud. So, we're here, Linfield versus RFS from Latvia. So, people may ask, why am I here all the way over in Belfast for tonight? Tonight sees the opportunity of the first ever, and I mean ever, qualification to European group stage football for a Northern Irish team. Wow. I, I tend to say it, it doesn't get bigger than this, but it generally doesn't get bigger than this. This is massive. Tonight sees the second leg of a two-legged playoff tie. The first finished two each. You may say that's a good score, but not really. Linfield were 2-0 up. They were cruising the 89th and I think the 93rd minute RFS scored to bring it back to two each, breaking Linfield hearts. But they've got time to make amends tonight because that will not matter a single bit if Linfield managed to get the win tonight. On a serious note, you may recognise the name PK Bansider. Well, definitely not a serious note. PK's always at it, but he remembered about this game in my head. Was it a blank and I forgot all about it? He's went and remembered, he texted me yesterday. So, looked into it. Obviously, I'd watched the game last week, the 2 each game, and there was no way I was missing out on this. So I'm here today, I'm in Belfast, and I'm on my way to the stadium. The first chance of European football in the group stages ever for a Northern Irish team. This could be the biggest game in Northern Irish football history. Let's go and see what the fans think. Okay, we're outside the ground. This is the biggest match possibly in Linfield's history. The chance to reach European competition. How long have you followed Linfield for? Probably about 35 years, mm -hmm. 46 years of age, so I've followed them for about 35 years. What does tonight mean for you? It means everything. I mean, my son and I watched the Champions League draw tonight, and albeit that it's, it's not as big, a, but it is the biggest stage for us. I mean, and being in that draw tomorrow just would mean the world. Mm -hmm. And how long have you supported Linfield for all your life, I take it? Uh, yeah. yeah. What would tonight mean for you? Uh, I'd be happy and I'd want them to win and I'd want them to make it through. It's my first Linfield game. It's going to be one of the biggest crowds ever. What does I expect with the atmosphere tonight? Well, it's going to be a last week. Mm -hmm. I would say from 90 minutes from start to finish, the boys are going to be right on top of it, 12th man, ready to go. Yeah, it's going to be brilliant. And, and this facility, it can be right on top of them as well. Magic what Stadium. A, what a beautiful facility. Close to the pitch, uh, the, you know, the crowd, the crowd get, get, Get involved with the players, mm -hmm. players get involved with the crowd. Just makes for a magic leaving. We man, score prediction. Uh 3-0. No, 1-0. No. Oh, oh, he's playing oh. it safe now. Well, I'm going 3-0 then, face. 2-0. Yeah. Guys, have a great time. Enjoy Thank the you. game. Enjoy the game. Get the wee man and what's your name? What's your name? Tell me your name. What's the score prediction? Linfield gonna win? Yeah. Tell him the man. Right, quickly, score prediction. 2-0, Linfield. Um suckies. 2-1. Two one. Three now. Two one. Two one. Four two. Come on, Lenny! Yeah! Right, I'm here with Lenny. Lenny, 
How long have you supported Linfield for? Tell, tell me your story. Uh, well, I grew up, there's a street just right beside this front gate here, and I grew up 10 doors from the front gate, so I have supported, it's, it's, from I could walk, I supported Linfield, because I used to sneak you onto the turnstiles when I was a kid, and security was a bit more relaxed in the end days, so I used to sneak you in. My mum and dad didn't know I was going into games. Today, it's possibly Linfield's biggest ever match. They can get into the group stages of European football, not just for Linfield, but for Northern Irish football for the first time ever. What does it mean tonight? It's huge. We've had some games over the years. You know, I, I'm near 59, so I've been some through some generations. This was, this is one of the biggest, if not the biggest, group stages in European football. You can't really beat that. Are you constant getting it tonight? Last last week, you managed to get a 2-0 lead yeah. and you slipped up. I'm um, exactly where I was this time last week. I wasn't confident. Uh, um, in my AJ and KJ, we went 2-0 we went up and I went, you know, that team's there for the taking. They gave away two soft goals near the end. But so we'll prove we can score against them, so who knows what's going to happen. What's the score prediction? Go for 2-1. Good stuff. Enjoy the game. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Right, as I said, we've got the big man on. He's here. We've finally met him. Peaky Bandsiders. If you've not already, go and check out his channel. Big man. You're doing it all for Northern Irish football. Not even Northern Irish, all Irish football, so keep it up. But tonight, tell us a wee bit more about tonight's game. In the context of Irish League football, this is simply the biggest game an Irish, an Irish League team has probably ever had. Aye. Um, Linfield nearly did it a few years ago against Carabag. Oh, was it Carabag? Carabag, aye, aye. Um, but they, they, they fell short. This is their time to right the wrongs. This is massive for Northern Ireland football. Group stage football. Aye. It's, it's, it's mad as well and the fact that they scored two they were 2 nil up last week shows it's possible tonight uh, definitely but before the game any Blues man would have said a draw would be brilliant after the game every Blues man was defeated like yeah you know look, they, they've shown they can score against them they beat Bodo Glimt at home you know they they were beat 2-0 against Zurich but they didn't look out of place they can win the night do you think they'll win the night? Come on, you need to be optimistic. You're supposed to be missed on Northern Irish football. I know, but I'm being honest. Like, it's 50 50. No. It really is. I hope they can win. Do you think they can win? Yes, I do. You think they can win? Will they win? Score prediction. 1 0. Right, we've had the interviews, we've heard the stories. Let's get into the ground and see if Winfield can do it. Oh, 
How she missed that? Oh no! Atmosphere's starting to rise now. Possible handball shit there. So it's 0-0, uh, Linfield pressuring but they just can't get the goal. I forgot, anywhere apart from Scotland you're able to get a drink at the football so sitting here I've got a wee cider. Oh, unbelievable. I'm going to get myself back in. The biggest 45 minutes in Linfield's history. They need to do it. I've got myself a wee burger as well, I'll give you a review at the end of the game. But that's not what's important. Let's go and see if Linfield can do it. How's you missed that? Surely, surely! Oh my god! Surely not! That's two! If Linfield are going to get anything from this game, they're going to need to improve their finishing because that is horrendous. They've been gifted chances and they're not taking them. That was just lifting again. Linfield on top. They gotta go here. They take advantage of this. So one goal can change Northern Irish football forever. Come on. Minutes left. Linfield players protest, I don't think there's VAR. 
It looked like a definite handball. Oh! Oh my goodness! Wow! Oh! Oh my god, what's happening here? I thought it was in. We all thought it was in. Oh my goodness, this is mad. What is happening here? What is happening? No way. No way. No way. Oh. Three minutes out of time. Can they do it? Come on. Seconds. I've just hit the post in the last, last second. It is not happening tonight at all. Oh my goodness. You couldn't rate it. Any extra time we go. Oh, that's good. Oh my god. I missed again. This is not happening right now. Wow. Oh, oh God, what a save. What a save. People have been on mail for Linfield. Linfield should have had their dead and buried so many times. Get the ball on. It's a ball. Lifted this place magically. 15 minutes left to get the biggest result in Northern Irish football history. Can they do it? Why are you watching East Belfast? <laughs> A minute and a half to go. Oh no. What a block. Oh, I need to do better than that. I need to hold that in. Get that 
that way. Oh no. Oh my, harsh in the mouth. seconds to go. Wow. Alright, guys, I've done it again. I've done it in the last fixture and I've done it again. We've scored the last second. Again. That's one minute of time. Speechless. This is going to go to penalties now. Penalties it is. That is remarkable. Let's see if it's going to be down this end or not. Right, it's down the other end. Might make a bit of a difference, but come on. First penalty. Don't even have a ball for the shootout. Makes it even worse. Oh, he saved it. He saved it. We're back, it's the next day and phew, Linfield fans, I'm so sorry because that is probably the hardest thing I've ever watched in football. Wow, speechless, I came out of that stadium and I felt as if I was broken watching it. For a Linfield fan to watch that, phew, I'm so sorry for you, but that's football and we need to move on. Uh, you know how we do it, I'm going to give you five factors to review on the Linfield match day experience. Let's go. So first we have football. They weren't good enough in the end, Linfield. Uh, they had so many chances and they didn't take them and they paid the price in the end. So for football, I'm going to give that a 7 out of 10. For price, wow, I get in for a tenner. I'm giving that a slap bang, 10 out of 10. For atmosphere, Fair play to the boys in the cup. I think it's a blue unity. They kept going all game and at points they even get the full crowd going. The full stadium was rocking at points because of them so well done to them. For atmosphere I'm going to give them an 8 out of 10. For food, 
Uh, I got a beef burger, the was either a hot dog or a beef burger, that was it, uh, or a packet of tento, so the, there was, wasn't that many choices, but beef burger was decent, uh, I'm going to go 7 out of 10 for that. Facilities, the stadium speaks for itself, 10 out of 10 easily, we've been here before for the Cliftonville v Coleraine Cup final, and there was all opportunities for me coming back, and I took them, because I'm going to be back again. I'll be back for another an island game, definitely. 10 out of 10 facilities. Ladies and gentlemen, that is me for another week. You know the drill. Click the like button if you enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel, click that subscription button. It's free. It takes two seconds to do, and it helps me out the world a good. Where do you want to see me next? I'm going to be somewhere different tomorrow. It's still an island, but a different part of Ireland. Keep tuned, and I'll show you where I am. Until then, it's a goodbye from me.